Hey guys, Pro here. I just wanted to show you what I got here, sitting here. I had already put a post on the forum about my triple monitor setup. Uh, since then, I've got a proper widescreen 16 to 9 ratio single monitor in the front. Um, what I did have previous to this was the 4 to 3 square monitor, and it just messed everything up. So uh, I just wanted to show you how this one worked as opposed to that. And uh, additionally, um, you guys are talking about having a proper race set up with a comfortable seat and you know somewhere to clamp your monitor to and everything like that. Like, I just wanted to show you how easily accessible it was to get a triple monitor set up. Um, just thinking cost-wise, it's going to cost a lot of money to have a normal chair like out of a car for something for your computer. Now I'm only sitting on a $10 Walmart chair, but uh, I wanted to show you what kind of performance I have with this computer and what it is. Um, because this computer is rather old. Um, it's an Athlon 64, 4800. I got two gig of DDR1 RAM. It's running at 333 megahertz, so that's pretty old RAM right now. It's really bad. I can't overclock this thing whatsoever without it crashing on me. Um, the primary video card is 80, excuse me, 8800 GTS from NVIDIA. Uh, 640 meg onboard video RAM. That one does the primary um, rendering of everything in here. Uh, the resolution right now is 3232 by 768 so it's kind of an extreme resolution but it handles it really well i'm running this is nordsch life right now so this is over 40 frames a second i can't see exactly what it is uh constantly getting uh page tearing so i'm, I'm hitting about 60 because that's what the lcd supports and uh my second video card is a 9800 gt which i picked up for about 150 bucks and i realized that i guess i got ripped off a little bit when we were talking on TeamSpeak a little earlier because you guys were seeing them like between, I think it was $70 to 100 bucks on online there. But uh, I do live in the middle of nowhere, so maybe that had something to do with the extra cost. And uh, so with the price of these two monitors on the right and the left, about 100 bucks each, uh, because the monitors are coming down in price quite a lot. And uh, I got the one on the left used, so that was 100 bucks exact. Uh, the middle one was one. I think it was 155 bucks because it was on sale, and uh, I couldn't pick anything up used that was uh, as good as the one that I got in the middle for <laughs> for a very good, like a better cost. Anyway, um, so you're thinking like 200 bucks for the extra monitors, another 100 bucks for a video card, you get a triple monitor setup, and uh, like I say, I'm using its max resolution right now that I can. It's pretty good. And uh, I'm always using the high display settings on R Factor, full shadows, everything like that, and it's always playable, even when we're racing on the league. And uh, yeah, I mean, this just speaks for itself right now. The immersion factor is tenfold over a single monitor setup. And, you know, even if I got an actual setup where I'd have a race chair and everything like that with my blue shifter in a proper spot, I don't think I'd want to go back to a single monitor at all. So this is just Nord's life I wanted to show you guys this. I'm used to this car at all. You really feel the hills in, in Nord's life a lot more. Everything just feels bigger. How do you, you can correct your mistakes a lot quicker for some reason too. I think you just, with that peripheral vision, it's enhanced to the point where uh, you might as well be driving a little car. Anyways, as you can see, it's pretty cool. I'll show you what it looks like at uh, different angles, except for that one. That sucks. There we go. As you can see, it's like, you know, you're not sacrificing any graphics or anything like that. Um, it looks almost as good as it would be on the single monitor, but it just spans three. It's not really a huge you know, frames per second increase or decrease or anything like that with 
getting the three monitors working on a single video card, which was very surprising for me because I've always had a lot of problems with this computer being quite slow with different things. Um, it's a really it's bottlenecking my video cards really bad, so I'm saving up for another uh, motherboard and CPU combination right now. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Thanks.